Hi everyone and welcome to this video. Today we're going to look at how you can connect to your mailbox using Outlook 2010 and that covers off Starter, Starter Plus, Mail Extra and Mail Lite mailboxes. So the first thing you need to decide is whether you want to add the mailbox as a new profile or add it to an existing profile and I'll quickly just show you the differences. So when I add, when I open Outlook I get a, an option to choose profile. So at the moment I only have one set up so if I sign into that one I'm going to add the mailbox to this profile so I'll have access to my existing mailbox, webinars.com, and the new mailbox I'm going to set up. If you want to add it as a completely separate um, profile, that you can do that as well. If we close that off, at the moment, when I open that, I get pro prompted to choose profile and I can add it as a new one. If you don't get this prompt, it's really easy to set up. Just go into your control panel, which is just in the start menu, uh, or do a search for it if, as well. And if you check the view by, make sure you're in large or small icons, go to mail and from here click show profiles and you can choose to always use this profile which means you won't ever get prompted which one you want to use uh, or just use prompt for profile to be used there. So the settings are going to be the same for both but if you want to add it as a completely separate profile set that option and just click new and you can go through the settings there but as i say i'm going to add it to a new i'm going to add it to my existing profile so to add it to an existing profile log in click on file go to account settings click on account settings again from the drop down and then we go to new from the email tab and here, if you're adding it as a new profile, these are where you, this is where it's going to be the same, uh, the same options that you'll see. So we're connecting to an email account, and we want to manually configure server settings or additional server types. Internet email, so you connect to Pop or IMAP. And here's where we enter the mailbox details. And I'm adding an admin at mail address. So my name's going to be, I'm just going to set it as admin. And that's just going to be what's displayed in the mails you send. So here you can see it's come from Microsoft Outlook. That would be what's in the your name field. So as you can see here, the email address is the full email address that you're trying to set up. And I'll just copy that. I'm going to set it up as an IMAP account in the account type. The incoming mail server must be mail.livemail.co.uk. And the outgoing server must be smtp.livemail.co.uk. And the username is the full email address you're trying to set up. So admin at fastestwebinars.com for me here. And the password is your mailbox password. Now we've done that, we need to go to more settings. And the first thing we need to do is go to the outgoing server tab and select my outgoing server requires authentication. And we're going to use the same settings as my incoming mail server. Now we need to go to the advanced tab. And for incoming mail server and for outgoing mail ser outgoing server, sorry, you need to choose SSL as the encryption type for both. And you'll see that automatically has changed the port number there. So the port numbers are incoming server should be 993 if you're using IMAP or 995 if you're using POP. And for outgoing, it should be 465. So click OK there. And if I click next, it's going to test the account settings as well. But you can just check them before you go to the next screen by clicking this button. And as we can see, that's set up correctly. So now when we click next, it's going to do that again. And that's successfully added. So as you can see now in this profile, we've got two, e two email accounts. If we close that, and it's added to my sidebar there. So now I have access to both of my email boxes from this profile. And that's the end of the video today. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for now.